Hey, hey, everybody. This is Sui Sauce here. Coming back at you um, with Sui Sauce Presents. That's my little swagger dagger, baby. And um, <clears throat> what I'm, a, I'm in machine right now. And I'm going to just create some music. That's all. So I selected a kit out of all of the kits that I do have. And I went to one I haven't went to. Got a, a lot of these I haven't even went to. So, Neon Drive. That's what I'm going to work with today. And create some music. Okay. So, already selected. That's my MIDI controller, the machine uh, controller, the MK, I, I got the MK2, I never got the MK3, I had the studio, but they basically do the same thing, it's just a workflow, <clears throat> I get every sound, everything I want, so it's just your workflow, um, and that's what's up, so it's just my workflow. <laughs> I don't even know what I want to do, but set my BPM at 160. Okay, that's it. Okay. Okay, that's what I'm that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just I'm not even gonna record it yet. Start off with the bass. I normally start off with strings or something like that, but uh, it's okay. Hey, <clears throat> see, I like <clears throat> freestyle, and I put them in that way, and then I can line them up, and get them tighter, like great. Just go to it. Bum, yeah. I should be loud enough, yeah. Boom, ba boom, boom. Let's see how it sound. Yeah, uh, say. That's cool. And I'm gonna duplicate this. I'm gonna copy it. Hit this X. And then paste. <clears throat> that keeps me with the same um, expansion. And so I'm going to name this top one base. B. Mm -mm. B. Yeah, that's it. Yep, that's what I play, the bass. Um, <clears throat> we're getting ready to do some uh, music with uh, D. Speller. Some more music. He went and did a collab project with, um, oh man, I want to give him a shout out. I, li I like the music. I'm telling you, I like the music. The producer... I can't remember his name, but I'm gonna give him a shout out when I remember all that. But right now, I'm, I, I gotta look them up. Um, see what it is. The na what's the name? Okay, what I have right now is I th 
think the name of it is e Enough Ca Collaboration. I don't know the name. I'll find. But they got a song come out coming out, Sick and Black, and another joint. Uh, I guess that could be the... I don't know. I wasn't a part of that, so... Yep, so anyway, yeah, yeah, it's louder because, um, I don't, let me see, now I'm going to change this instrument. Let's see. And I'm not going to talk much on here. I'm going to just keep it moving, you know. I got earlier t tutorials that show you how to do this. And you can just follow me along. And if you like what I do, then please like and subscribe. Um, this year, 2020, I'd like to get some people coming online. And just, you know, I didn't get that. Oh, I'm not talking to you. Let me cut you off. You know, it make you wonder if somebody else is really listening when your iPad is just sitting there. I wonder. Uh, am I being watched or listened to? Because there's a camera on here. That's a good question. Conspiracy. Yeah, I'm off. I'm off. I'm gonna get real wild with it. Yep, I'm get real wild. Put up my, put up my thing. Yeah, today I'm just gonna do me. I'm just do way different. Okay. Stretch that. I'm gonna make it eight measures. Hey. Oh yeah. trip today. Duplicate. I mean copy. Uh, I don't even know what that instrument was. Vox. <clears throat> Did sound like a high pitched voice. Vox voice. Vox vocal. Vox box. <laughs> okay. So now I'm going to paste that here. Let me make sure I'm feeling the way it is. Yeah. So, so nice. Yeah. Uh, hey. Hey. Yeah, I'm feeling that. Okay, so now I'm going to just go paste right here. Paste. And I'm going to delete the instrument. Uh, 
the pattern clear. <laughs> So I select the instrument on the pad over here with the machine, and then I use my MIDI keyboard. I got a Mo6 and a complete controller. This is the small, not the smallest one, but this is the M30 something. So anyway, let's just keep going. <laughs> what I'm going to do, I'm going I'm to put some effects and f effects tricks on this thing once I finish. Who? Watch. Yeah, I'm, I'm flipping it on them. They don't know what I'm going to do when I'm going to do it. Yeah. Sue is in the building, baby. For real. Watch me. Watch me work this one, y'all. Watch me work the heck out of this thing right here. I'm going to copy again. Watch me. Watch me. Okay, what is that? That's uh, here it is. Whatever, they almost everything almost there. Huh? It's not giving me the title. So, yeah, I'm gonna say get. To, uh, uh, what does it sound like? <laughs> I'm naming my tracks because I'm about to take them and switch them over to Studio One in a second. And then do some stuff, baby. Yep. Watch me. Oh, it's like a, like a, like a, a street vibe pace. It's going to be like a street vibe. Okay, I'm getting this started, so let me save file. Save as. What y'all want to name it? I need to go live so y'all can help me out. Uh, y'all tell me y'all want me to go live because y'all paying attention. Then I'll do that. But well, right now, I'm just recording stuff. So, what I'm going to do right now is name it. <clears throat> Since I'm a whole head, I'm going to call this the goat. Ha <laughs> ha, yeah. I am the goat. 
Suey Sauce, the GOAT. Yeah, baby. Save the GOAT. <laughs> Now mellow them. Try a different kit. Like I said, I haven't even been to these, so I don't even know what. Okay, that's two different styles, so let me see. going wild with it. Yup. Hey. Watch me. Watch me. You'll see. Put some percussions up there in a minute. Let me hear if I hear anything else. Let me. Pace. Shoot, I know y'all know about now about now how to uh just take one and keep rolling. Take one instrument and try different stuff. Too much echo. Trying a different kit. I like this kick. Listen. 
That's a strong kick. I am not ready for percussions yet. Digilo, that's the name of I won't remember that. That sounds like some eighties. 80s music. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to get ready to take these and move them over to the boo 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 real quick. Uh, let's take these. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave it like this. I hit save. Save. Because I'm going to do the drums on the other side. Studio one. So hit save. And now what I want to do is take this, all these over to Studio One, Studio One as individual tracks. So now, because I could have co continued to complete the song and changes and breaks and everything and arrange it all here and take it over to Studio One, but I'm going to take it to Studio One now. That's good enough for me for right now. Okay, so I'll go to... Properties. Whoa, I ain't been over here in a minute. Mm, mm, mm. Lord. Sorry about that. File. Export. Make sure everything's checked off. Loop. And you want the sounds. You, I want the groups. These are groups. Okay, and if I had more than one sound on a group, it would divide it. It would split it up. If I did the drums and everything on the drum, snare, kick, hi-hat, snare on one thing, and I want to transfer it over to Studio One, I would select um, uh, sound, and it would give the individual instrument. But since these are the groups... The different color things here. Um, I'm going to just take that and transfer it over as group. That's what that's what you got right there. And so 16 bit, I can go 24 bit if I want. Um, leave it like that. Normalize, loop optimize. Nope. I'm keeping everything right where it is. Right, the goat. And it's going to be in a D drive, user, machine, something like that. But I'll look for it. It's called the GOAT. And you always want to put the BPM 160. Or BPM. It's the GOAT. That's what I'm calling it. I'm Okay. Export. The GOAT 160. So now it's turned into waves, files, and it's in my file folder. And I have to find it. But meanwhile, I'm going to shut this machine down. See ya. And I'm going to open up Studio One. Yep. Here we go. And remember, it's 160. So when I set up, set up my track, it's going to be at 160 BPMs. 
Okay. And I have two screens monitors. So let's set it up. I already have templates set, but I'm going to title it the G O A T. And I'm going to still put 160. The GOAT 160. And then I'm going to go to a template. 4.5 is the one I created. You definitely want to create a template. CMP, I'll show you that. And I think I got a tutorial that shows how to create a template. I could, if I don't, I'll make one. Okay, the GOAT. And now I'm going to bang. Bring it open. Open that up. And now I'm going to go to my file folder, which is on the other screen down below. I'm opening it up, and I'm looking for the wave files, the GOAT. See, see um, um, that's what I'm doing. So I'm looking for <clears throat> the GOAT. Okay, I'm opening it up. I should have showed y'all. I'll show you. Here it is. Let me backtrack. The goat. Open up that file folder. Bang. Cop. Hit the first one. Hit shift on the quirky keys. And I'm going to remove this mix screen. Oh, man. This probably went behind it. Oh, there it did. Let me move that over here out the way for a second. Put this back up on the screen. Yeah. We straight? We straight. So now, what I'm going to do is take these and drag them over here. This is in my way. It's on my track. So I'm going to drag them here. Put them up top. Bang. Then I go, now, now I can close this right here. <clears throat> then I go right here. That's my Ranger track. That's I use it. You know, it helped me. I don't have to. Okay. It stops right there. Select the arrow so you can drag it over and see now all of them in there. <clears throat> if I wanted to create more, I just hit duplicate, duplicate, and just BPMs is the same. I can remove and add instruments. And when it comes here, it's a little bit louder. So you want a gain stage. You could do it this way. Bring it down a tad bit. Because when you add plugins and things like that, that's going to raise the volume. So you don't want to record loud. You can turn your uh, earphones up so you can hear it louder if you, that's what you prefer. But don't have it too loud in your system. You know, break it down about 8 dBs. And you could do it here. You could actually highlight the tracks and then come up here and lower that. But I did it here, so I'm not going to do that right now. So let's hear what we got. And she'll be, and let me get my loot. Let me get this. Bring your old tail over here. Uh. Yep, and if I don't have this on, see right now it's going right to the grid. If I don't have this on, it won't. This right here, this arrow right here, if I had that on, it'll it'll follow the recording. For example, like if I click on this, I'm a, it'll open up um, the edit. I'm gonna just double click, 
it opens up the edit. And if I move, okay, now here's the arrow here. And if it's playing, see that? See? See, it's, uh, I need to come off the screen. I, I, I'll show you about that a little later. Because I want to keep on with the track. Okay. Now I'll show it to you now. All right, for example, um, and this this duplicate, duplicate. Okay, it's off the screen. And for example, if I'm here right here, there it is, right? It'll f follow and it'll disappear on me. See it disappear. And then it'll come back. Suppose I was wanting to just work on that little section. See how it moved? I might want to just work, I just might want to work on that little section. You know, I don't want it to move, but it'll move. See, okay, I'm over here working, editing or something right here. Okay, I'm working. Uh, for example, okay, put the loop right there so it'll stop. Okay, if I'm over there working, okay, it then disappeared what I was working on. You see what I'm saying? So, I'm like, oh, man, think I was working on that. So, how I can make it where I can work on that without it moving no matter what this is doing up here I just take that arrow and let it loose come on unhighlight it and bang see I'm, I can work on it I'm gonna do whatever work I'm doing I don't care where it go I, I'm good okay but if I put that back on it's gonna follow and right here that one this is the grid. Like if I'm clicking on something, it's going to snap to the grid. But if I if I don't click on it, if I if it unhighlight it, I could come right here. I could come halfway right there. I can come close. So I don't have to get real close. I can come see what I'm saying? I could do all that. Uh I won't it won't have to be gridded. Okay, and I'll come right here. And you gotta also look at this right here. These right here controls this down here. This right here, board is for these. This board up here, all of this up here is for up here. Although they're the same, so since I had that unhighlighted. Now I could click, move over a little teeny bit, move over a little teeny bit more, move over a little teeny bit more. But because it's not highlighted, it, it's because it is highlighted, I can't do that same little maneuver. If I want to see, I want to move over. Nope, it's going to click to the grid. But if I undo it, then I can do little pieces like that. Yeah, so that's a little quick little lesson in in the editing. So come out of that editing, cause we creating some music, baby. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So what I'm gonna do now is go here and select uh, instrument, and I'm gonna go to I'm gonna go to personas uh, what, is, what is it called good god I can't even think of impact so I'm gonna go up here type impact there it is so I can bring that down on my track, impact, and then the impact screen pop up.
and that's impact screen and so what I'm going to do right here is select the kit to go into the impact screen so drum kit although they do have instruments on it I don't know what I want Oh, let's go to Gucci kit. I really want. I might change it later, but that's what I'm going to use. Okay. So, I'm going to use that kit. funky enough let me see oh man kit easy I don't even know what that kit is uh uh mm. hip hop let's see what that Yeah, that sound about right. Uh, it's just low. That's a hip hop type of vibe. So we can use that. So I'm gonna just move it out of my screen. I'm gonna come here. Come to this first section right here. Um, come to that first section, and on my quirky keys, the keyboard. The quirky keys is what you type on. I'm going to hit Control Shift P, and what I want to do is bring up the um, grid for the drum. I double click, and there, bang, there your grid, and these are the instruments. So you set it up. I'm going to do a double tie time type of thing. So I'm gonna, for now, I'm going to just put 32, uh, 1 8th, and yeah, that for now. And then what I can do is now create a beat. Let me just hit save. I don't know. So you could draw it in. Uh, hey, now let me set my loop marker. So it'll repeat right here. I don't need to go on over. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, hey. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, what's this here?
Seems like it's a lag right there. I don't know why. Like it's supposed to be there. Mm-hmm. Hey. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but y'all gonna feel it. Probability. I'm just want some repeats going on the hi hat. So you highlight this section right here. Watch right here. Wait till it get there. It, it tripped a little bit. Doubling it up. Uh. My snare, I use more than one snare. I just see these two snares, these two two bases right here. Mm. Yeah, yeah. And that's good for now. Okay, 
that's good for now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to duplicate this. Doop, 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 doop. And then you say, look, dang, all of those are on one chat, chat. All of those different instruments, all, all those little dots you see, are on one track. <sighs> so what I'm going to do is get them all off the track, bring them all, all those different the snares and drums to their own. So I highlighted it, and then I'm going to right click, and then I'm going to go to event, and then I'm going to, oh, i got to remember instrument part I'm gonna go to instrument part and then I'm gonna go to convert patterns to part that's what you do first bang now the patterns are parts because they were patterns now I want to it's all of it is still highlighted all of it is still highlighted and I want to right click and go back to instruments and then I want to explode pitches to tracks because technically I don't for example okay let me let me, let me come out of that so you see I don't have like okay okay let me exp now it's time to explode pitches to tracks okay explode pitches to tracks bang bam see all of those yeah there they go there they go so now it's the ones in green so now if you go to the mix section you don't see the faders for it see this over here is um, my um, bus channels and stuff <clears throat> but over here you don't see the faders for it and you need the faders so you can adjust the volume in order to get the fader for these, you highlight and you right click and you bounce. And once you bounce them, it's MIDI now. You see where things look like keyboards? They're going to change. A whole set of them going to come and they're going to look like wave files. Here they, here they come. Is processing some of them are 13 clipping real high, but I'm gonna take care of all that. Uh, so, bang! So now you have each that's why you want to name your uh, drums that's rim, rim shot, two hi hat, rim shot, rim shot, rim shot. Oh, okay, but anyway, <clears throat> so what I do, you can save CPU processing speed because waves don't um, use much processing as MIDI so I can actually remove these because all of these that automatically been muted is actually these right here now which are waves so wave files so I'm going to remove Hmm, what I'm doing so I'm gonna go right here and then to the bottom shift select then I'm gonna right click and then I'm gonna say remove selected tracks from remove selected tracks and instruments bang so I don't need those no more so they're gone and I also for these I now have um, Let's see. Where y'all at? Impact. Mix. Impact. There it is. Okay. There they are. And see, <clears throat> these remain from the... This... These... Okay. Duh. I'm like, I'm in by myself. These remain... Oh, and you can you can hide those hide these shift uh, right click uh, hide I don't need those 
Because <clears throat> they, they empty, for real. So, so now we go back, and now I can manipulate my drums individually. And also what I like to do is highlight, highlight, I mean, color code my stuff. So since I know all of these are my drums, I'm going to select them, shift, then come over here. I like my drums brown, so I make my drums brown. And I'm going to make these other instruments. And this is another one that remain. Delete. Um, and then I can make, because all of these, uh, I'm, I'm going to do it. Uh, take that back. Don't even go over here. You go right here. And shift, bang. And I'm gonna change. I did not mean to do that, but this is how you get to the automation file files, the pan in the volume, if you needed to. But I'm coming up a little further, and go to the colors. And I like my colors for my instruments to be yellow, and I miss one. I want that to be yellow. Okay. So, back up. Okay, and it's and it's in pocket. So now what you can do this is this is uh they say it ain't no such thing as cheating, but I, I think so. But I'ma see. I'm gonna go to a loop. And you, you see I created those drums, but you can get loop kits and stuff like that and add uh, other instruments to it. Like, let's see. Now I'm testing. Now I can go over here and play it. So you can grab a, a loop or something. See, I can do that, or I can uh, stop that. Let me shut this down. And I can go to files and I got more stuff in my files <clears throat> I like that let's look at some then you can go you can get individual instruments uh, or percussions I guess a little wave uh, if I wanted it it's already done or I can go to my instruments and stuff and find stuff. I wanna. I wanna crash. That's a light crash. Yeah, something like that. And then, um, let me see how it sounds.
Yeah. Okay, that's that's cool. Oh, it's just a crash. Crash. Okay. And so let's see. <clears throat> Should I have a part two to this? Because it is getting late. Mm -hmm. All right. So what I'll do, <clears throat> this is part one, and I'll come back on and do part two. So this is part one of this beat, The Goat. All right. <clears throat> this is Sui Sauce signing off. Uh, be woke, not woke-ish. And I'm going to holler back at y'all. Peace. All right now. And uh, I'll leave y'all with this little thing going on. We are going to put, we're going to arrange this. We're going to add more stuff, take stuff out. And we're going to make it hot like fire. I'm telling you, I'm going to bring this thing all the way to life. You'll see. So y'all can see what's going on. So just go on to part two when I put it up. It's going to be right after this one. And... You're going to enjoy it. I'm going to put these up at the same time so you'll be able to see it. Go right to it. Yeah. 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 I want you to enjoy yourself. I want you to enjoy yourself. Yeah. Hey. I want you to enjoy yourself. I want you to enjoy yourself. Yeah. Prepare for this big meal with this love. We're both chill. I tap my go so low, but now I go bow low. Heavier, heavier. My love sweat pours. I say you got the kind of love that I can't ignore. It's a sexual healing, intellectual feeling. Are you ready and willing for it? my heart to just steal it? It's for the old saying about the hand in the glove. If you wanna get smooth, why open for my love? Yeah, peace, baby. Suey in the building. I'm going to holler back, y'all. Yeah. All right, now. Peace.